Hello everyone. How to install Joomla 4.1.2 on Windows 10? If you are also trying to install Joomla 4.1.2 on Windows 10, then this is the right video for you. So 4.1.2 is the latest version of Joomla. So today in this video, I am going to teach you the installation process of Joomla in your local machine or in your local computer or in local uh, PC okay so if you are interested to learn about that please watch this video until the last and you will be also familiar all the tips and tricks and process related with the installation process of Joomla 4.1.2 so without any late let's begin so now you can see here this is the website of the Joomla so this is the official website downloads.joomla.org so I'll give the download link in the video description you can check that one so first of all you have to uh, download a server that is jamp server just you have to type jamp and you will get this window and you have to click in the apache friends.org and now you can see here you will get this window and you have to download your apache sorry your jump server so you will get the apache mario db psp and pol uh, so the latest version of the jump is 8.1.4 and the psp also 8.1.4 okay so you can choose any platform and uh, there are uh, three types of the jams uh, softwares available for windows linux and uh, Mac okay so after downloading this one you, you have to install and you have to run your jam server so now you can see I am running the Apache and my SQL okay so after that so you have to come here in the downloads.joomla.org and you have to download the latest version of Joomla uh, in this time the latest version of Joomla is 4.1.2 so I am just downloading this one so now we can see here my uh, software is downloaded okay so now we can see here my file is downloaded and just you have to click here and just click in the show in folder so after that so now we can see this is the file and I, I am just copying this one and I am going to inside the uh, C drive and I am just uh, searching the jump and I am going inside jump okay and you have to uh, go inside the SD docs okay so here is the SD docs and after that you have to create a new folder okay so I'm just clicking uh, uh, sorry I'm creating a new folder so I'm just giving this one Joomla okay so after that just open that folder and you have to paste that file inside this folder then after that you have to right click and you have to click in the extract so you have to extract all the file from uh, that Joomla file so now we can say it is extracting all the files so guys now you can see here all the file is extract from this unzip folder okay so i am just going here and just you have to select all the files by pressing ctrl plus a and you have to copy all the files and come outside and just you have to paste here okay so i am just clicking here and i'm pasting okay now we, you can see here all the file is uh, coming outside uh, of that folder okay so it will take a little bit time okay so so after that just you have to open the command prompt cmd okay so now we can see here my cmd is opened and after that just you have to type cd dot dot backslash and dot dot okay and you have to press enter and you have to type cd jump slash okay and my sql slash and you have to type bin bin okay and after that you have to type my sql 
and minus u root minus p minus h uh, sorry local host okay then after that just you have to press enter so it is asking me to put password so i am pressing enter because i don't have any password okay so now you can see here it's entering okay so it's again giving me few error okay so i i did mistake so that's why it is okay so my all the file came inside the main directory so i minimize this one so my all the file came here so i'm just typing here local host okay then just you have to press enter and again press enter so now we can see you you are inside mariadb okay so after that just you have to create a database create database okay so i'm just giving the name is joomla and you have to uh, terminate that line Th then you have to press enter so now we can see it is telling me that query okay one row affected okay so if i went here okay then i'm just typing php my admin okay now so now we can see here i have created a, a database using the command prompt otherwise you can create a new database from here also uh, from directly um, from the php my admin but in this time i am just creating uh, my database from the uh, command prompt okay so after that again you have to so i am just okay i am typing that one and i am uh, giving localhost slash uh, joomla okay so in this time i am using the port 8080 so that's why i am using 8080 but it's not necessary uh, for you just you you can directly type localhost slash joomla then press enter so now you can see here it is again loading okay so it will take a little bit time it is depend on your internet speed okay so now we can see here it is giving a window and first of all you have to select the language and you have to set up the site name so i'm just giving the joomla test okay okay then just you have to click in the setup login data so it is asking me uh, the real name okay just i am giving the admin sorry admin okay then again i am just giving the username admin so it is asking me the password so the password should be at least 12 character so i am just giving uh, my password okay then you you have to provide the email so i am just giving the email id here okay okay and okay yeah then it is telling me that setup database connection so i am just clicking here so so you have to select the my sqli and it is asking me to provide the host name uh, that is localhost and it is giving me uh, it is asking me the username so the username is root and the, it is asking me the password i don't have any password so it is uh, asking me to put the uh, database name so you can check in the your database so now we can say i have a database name that is joomla so i am typing joomla okay so okay then just you have to go down and you don't have to do anything just you have to click in the install joomla okay so now we can see here my joomla is installing okay guys so now we can share it is telling me that congratulations so it is telling me that congratulations your joomla site is ready so in this way you can also install your uh, joomla okay so you can easily install your joomla site so if you are trying to install your joomla 4.1.2 on windows 10 so 
and then this is the right method okay so after that so it is telling that install additional language if, if you want otherwise you can directly open your site from here okay but in this time i am not doing anything so it is giving me few things okay so i am again uh, so now i am going here and typing administrator okay so for the joomla login panel you have to type uh, your local host slash joomla slide slash administrator okay administrator okay then after that you have to press enter and okay it is administrator okay so it will take a little bit of time it depends on your computer speed so now we can see here it is giving me the joomla administrator login so you have to type your username here then you have to type your password from here okay then you have to press login so now you can see here it is login in inside my joomla dashboard so this is the new type of the joomla dashboard so in this way you can easily install your 4.1.1 or 4.1.2 joomla inside your windows 10 so hoping that you get few ideas uh, if you have still any kind of confusion let me know in the comment sections so in my future video i'll uh, bringing lots of lots videos related with joomla content management system so i'll come back with another new video until that goodbye see you again